to roll or not to roll? That is the question facing many baby boomers today as they try to decide whether or not to roll an old 401k into something else. That's right. Well, here's our friend Abe Ashton here huh. to help us figure it out. It, wow, he gives himself a round of applause. Yay, oh, Abe, the crowd goes well. Abe is one of the area's <laughs> leading financial professionals. He helps people prepare for retirement and even hosts his own weekly retirement radio show. That Abe does. Ashton, welcome to the big couch. I'm happy to, it's kind of lonely on the big couch, I've decided. I need to start, start bringing some of my advisors back with me and, you know, have <laughs> bring them come. Bring your, your daughter <laughs> again. Yeah, I'll bring Paisley because she, she did so make the show, great. right? Yeah. So baby boomers out there, they might have had a 401k from jobs past and it's just there and it's collecting dust. They don't know what to do with their old 401k. What do they do? Yeah, we call those orphan 401ks from previous employers and very <laughs> few people are anymore are working for the same company for their entire career. More and more as I see retirees coming in, it was, I worked for this company for 10 years, I yeah. worked for this company for five years. It's not, I worked for Ford Motor Company for 30 years. There's a, there's a lot of change out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because of that, they start to lose touch. They know they have the retire. hopefully, they know they still have this retirement account, they have this money floating out there, but they don't know what it's doing. They yeah. don't know that, mm -hmm. you know, what the fees are. In fact, AARP did a study that shows that 80% of participants in 401k programs don't know what their fees are. And so it's important to know, I mean, we, we keep track of our fees in every other part of our life, or we yeah. try to, bank fees and whatnot. But with this old four, these old four, 401ks or orphan policies, um, it's good to get those reviewed and to see if it's still working for you the way you want it to. Because if you set that up at 25 years old, and now you're 55 years old and you're still invested or allocated like somebody who was you know, 20 or 30 years younger, you might not be working for you the same way. Very high risk right? at that we, point, yeah. Everybody, I mean, one of the common questions people come into my office, Abe, what's gonna happen with the market? We're on this eight or nine year bull run as if I know what's gonna happen with the market. I, I don't know. I do know we're on a great winning streak and there's still some great economic indicators out there that say we're going to continue to. Mm -hmm. But if you're 60 years old, if you're over the age of 55, you might wanna say, it's time to be a little more conservative with both those old 401ks and even your current 401k. If you're over the age of 59 and a half years old mm -hmm. and still working, many times you can roll your current 401k over while still keeping it open, sweep out that balance so you're not taking all the risk with it and yeah. start to protect some of that money. Huh, interesting. So you don't actually have to be retired. We have a lot of folks coming in and say, I still got a couple more years of work, but I'm starting to get a little nervous. Yeah. You know, I don't know that this is gonna continue forever and I'm getting so close to retirement. I, I might want to see what else is out there as yeah. far as options for, for growing my money, but maybe protecting it a little more. Yeah. Mm. Because you might miss out on an opportunity if you just let, I mean, some people think it, it's there, it's safe, you know, I'm not going to touch it, but there's a drawback to that potentially. There is a drawback to that, and, and the biggest opportunity that you want to miss is a big decline in the market. Right yeah. in 2008, that's an opportunity that you don't want to be a part of—an opportunity yeah. mm -hmm. to lose half of your life savings in one year, or in that case, 38% in the S&P 500 in one year. People who are at 60 years old can't afford that. They can't mm -hmm. afford that kind of loss because you'd have it. to work for 10 or 20 years just to get back. And all of a sudden, you're thinking, at 80 years old, man, I wish I had been a little more conservative the closer I got to retirement. And that's what we specialize mm -hmm. in: is helping people take a little more conservative approach as you start to get closer to retirement. As a retirement consultant, that's my job. So people that are watching that have these orphan 401ks, they're, they're, they're now posed with the question to roll over or not to roll over. Mm -hmm. They don't know exactly what to do. What's the next step? They, they, come in, they call our office. They call our office and we sit down and we do what's called a 401k x-ray where we take a look at your 401k, tell you what the fees are, tell you how it's invested. One of my investment advisors or myself will take a look and see what's, what's out there in that 401k. And then you can make the decision knowing what other options we can show you. Does it make sense to make a change? But first get the information of what you have. Know what you have before you know if you need to get rid of it. I bet you see a lot of surprise faces when people come in for that oh, x-ray of the, no, I'm, I, what? Well, they start working <laughs> backwards. I've been paying how much? Yeah. For how For long? the last 20 years yeah, I've exactly. been paying that mm. amount of money. And then the dollar star sign starts, that was two cars over that period of time that I could have mm. paid for if I had been aware. The fee mm. might seem mm. small in that month but once you figure out what it would be if it, it was uh, compounded. Right, time and compounding interest and the yeah. opportunity lost, as you talked about, opportunities lost for that, uh, it can end up being hundreds of thousands of dollars. So yeah. come in and we'll take a look at it for you. No obligation, no cost. Come on and sit down and we'll talk about it and go over it with you. And at least you'll have more information than you started when you walked in. Awesome. Definitely. Hey, great having you as always, Thank my you. friend. Thank Thanks you so much. Thanks for the reminder. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, if you'd like to get a 401k stress test, find out how much you're paying in fees and 
If you might be better off rolling that money over into something else, you could be one of the first 10 callers right now into Abe's office and receive a complimentary 401k stress test. His number is 702-900-8177. Ashton and Associates are on St. Rose and Henderson near the 215. Their website is listed on your screen and they are proud sponsors of the Morning Blend.